Hi and welcome back. Uh, I think it's the fourth part. I know that I still didn't lose my happy voice, but I'm working on it, so I hope this time will be better. I also saw a problem with the recording in the part before. The cursor was all the time like this. I have no idea why, but I'm pretty sure it's because. So I have an idea why it's because the recording software which we use. The good news we are buying a new one, but this old tutorial will be done with the old software. So the next one will be done with the new, which should be better. It should have some features which are interesting for me and will be interesting also for you. So in the part before we create this, I think the main parts. And by this build we was using just the cylinder and bell. So you can see we we'll just it was just using the basics of polymodelings and it was nothing hard. The reason is because uh, this tutorial should keep you in touch with the polymodeling because I think the next tutorials will be a little bit more complicated and because this with help with this you should have some touch with modeling and it should be much easier for you to understand. But back to this. So we created this, now we are going to create this. Because the diameter of all these tubes are all the time the same. And I have I don't remember the diameter of this, oh, this one, which was the first which we created. I'm going again just to copy a part of this and use it for modeling this. So, select this, go to poly, F to go to front, select this, hold down shift and copy it. Control element, not um, detach. Select the new part, I put the pivot to the center and just rotate this by 180 degrees. Move it back in the right position. Now Alt X, go to vertex and move. Move this here a little bit more. Select all polys, holding down shift, we are going to copy them again, now to the element, place it like this, a little bit back, now select all these vertex in this line and weld them, go to edge, select this edge, loop, backspace, vertex, backspace. I did this because all these details here um, should be the same. No, maybe not, but it will, it will be nice to have them almost the same and it will save us time by beveling that. So because this I, I copied this small part, connected it, and now we have a bigger part with two details like this. Now let's place the details in the right position so select this vertex and move them a little bit back now select all these and move it back to this edge like this the detail here and make it smaller like this alt x Ctrl A, select all objects, holding them Alt, deselect this one, and hide selection. Okay, now this we will move back like this, and we are going to do this hinge. No. Go to perspective, 
z to hopla zoom what was that oh, doesn't matter okay select this hinge ah this poly go to left z like zoom and holding down shift copy it and drag it down like this come on to element press ok back to perspective select this border cap it select that poly hinge from edge and select this hinge oh perfect select this small element mm, select again this poly and extrude it a little bit like this so you can see that this part is going the way down and this bottom part will go back a little bit later now we need to do we are somewhere like this and we need to do the second part we will just copy this to save us again time so we'll go to the left by pressing L after pivot to the center holding down shift copy it okay and rotate it back 180 degrees now we're rotating by 5 degrees because we still using these options just for the information so move this back because we are going to weld this connection and this should be enough select these attach these to it now perspective alt x and you can see this button poly and we have to delete it this one because if it will be there we can't weld the vertex on the connection so select it and delete on the other side one two so delete it Ctrl A by vertex and weld okay. so pretty fast we did this nothing hard pretty easy and the main thing was fast go to front yeah <laughs> not much in the reference more or less it's good now perspective and now we're going to hinge this for this hinge we will use this poly and this hold on shift and drag them a little bit to the right now select this border and this cap it I think you already understand that without this poly we can't hinge from edge so because these are capping the holes we'll select that and hinge from edge select this and again hinge from edge element select this delete this and delete select this again extrude it a little bit select just this and extrude it a little bit more I'll get this a little bit more too select both this and police hold down control click on edge and jump to this unhide all Upper. Yeah. Unhide all. Ho, ho, ho. I see some strange things that happened there. Okay, fix it a little bit later. And move, move this object back. Back and like this yep like this okay let's 
let's look what is here and how we did this okay I know how we did it but I don't remember when we did it it looks like we moved just some part up so let's fix this we'll fix this by deleting ah, hide down selected Maybe the fastest way we'll just delete these bodies and do the hinge again so cap this oh, select this one by element so this hinge from edge hinge and this extrude this control edge jump up too much less element this delete unhide all whoops it's fixed yep okay Okay, we create this part, fix that part. Uh, I think you will ha don't have the same issue like me, but if yes, you know how to fix it very quick. Now we are going to do this part, and this part will be pretty quick by just using this. So copy this whole object, select by poly. These bodies and delete them. Select these two borders, the holes, cap them, hold down control by poly and extrude. Mm. Mm. Like that. Hold down control H and chamfer. Go to front and we are going just to place it. the right position it should be somewhere here and maybe this angle uh, I don't know okay let's see no back to zero Select this and hide selection, and let's see how it should look. Mm, it should be a little bit bigger, I think, or maybe not. Okay, let's do it a little bit bigger just in case. Something like this, I think. Yep. No, it's enough. Okay, you can see it was pretty, pretty quick, pretty fast. Mm. Okay, a little bit upper, like this. And this was nothing bad. Right. So this part was like, too, like nothing. Okay, these two parts we create. Uh, I think quick 
because we are s uh, just using a part which we already created so we are just editing that part I'm just checking if everything is how it should be maybe this we should put a little bit back mm -hmm. yeah something like that all these polys around edit select invert this means that we selected this bottom and this upper poly let's battle we are going to battle these parts in one time because they look the same okay, battle upper and let's battle so a little bit up and forward Again, outside, now oh, a little bit up, inside, just up, up again, outside, up, outside again a little bit more, and back. Outside, up, outside, up, and back. See, the same there and the same here. Move it in uh, like this. Now, oh, should be nice to have selected still the police mm. no, again select all police just the bottom ones not so like that edit selection invert extrude it a little bit control by edge chamfer Oh, we'll ch change for something here. So like this edge, this one, this one, this and this. So like the same edges here. So first the bottom, this and this, and this one, this one, and I think this. Loop, jump up, too much, less, 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 like this. Let's try subdivision. Okay, it's fine. And wait, watch guy. And let's continue. So copy this in this position okay okay uh, so we did these details and maybe now we should place it in the right position yep so here okay 
a na je to ovo lo. And I think we have all main parts done. What we have left are the details. Let's check them. Okay, this one, this one, this one, this bottom, this and these. Here are some connections. And I think it's almost done. Oh, maybe this here. Here are something. And it will be everything. <coughs> okay. Now, but the detail which you don't see, let's go to the top, is somewhere here. It's some connection between two parts, just like a piece of metal, like here and here. I'm going to create this now and we will see. So let's go to the top. I think I will just keep this and this in the scene, so hide selection, hide unselected. And uh -huh. let's do this. So create a box. Create a box like this. Go to perspective. Z and let's see. Move it in the right position. It should be somewhere like here. And it's too big of course. Make it smaller. Like this. Back to top, and we are going to extrude. So extrude and move. Extrude again. Move and rotate, just to do some shape. shift and copy this okay this is too long uh, like this it's enough and the same here now rotate this No, it's fine. One hundred degrees. What the hell I'm doing? And place it on the other side. Like this. Now attach this object to one. I think I'm again moving to my happy walls. Oh god. Move this vertex here and this one. Try to do some shape, oh. which is I think fine and it's absolutely enough. Now Alt X and delete again this police inside. I Now 
Zeug deep wurde. Ja. Deep border and go to perspective. We are in perspective. Go to top. Go to top. Place it in the right position. Check the vertex and weld. Okay. Now control A by all edges and chamfer them. I'm transferring all edges goals. I have no move to deselect these. But if you want to deselect them. Okay, subdivision and Yeah, it's fine. This isn't not nothing important. And I think okay. So back before the chamfer and let's deselect everything which we don't need. So okay, select these loop and just select these at the end. Okay, chamfer again. Let's get to one. Select these vertex here and move them back to connect. And let's do the same here. Now subdivision again. better. Uh, the reason why I deselected these, why I didn't want it to chamfer also that, uh, is very easy. You you saw when I wanted that the subdivision don't affect something too much, like by the details, these ones, I chamfered this edge. And the same was uh, the Effect. The same effect was here when these edges was chamfered. This wasn't here wasn't one edge but two. It wasn't chamfer uh, the subdivision or the mesh smooth wasn't doing everything so smooth. It was counting also this chamfering, so it was like tick 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 or something like that. So because that uh, I decided not to chamfer that. So just for a quick explanation. <coughs> I think when you will watch the basics, oh, my tips, how I can call that, uh, I was telling something about that, uh, about that there, so if you want to know about that a little bit more, just watch it. Now, copy this and copy it right here. Mm, make it a little bit smaller. Just move this back, not so much, like this, and move this back, like that, move everything a little bit up, and again. Let's turn on subdivision, here too, and perspective. Okay. Mm. Okay. So actually, we have first our big detail here, which is these parts, which are co uh, causing the connections between this and this. I saw this on the picture, so I guess it should be there. And I also think I will stop here. Uh -huh. Yeah, I will stop here and continue in the next part where, like, the first thing I will do this. I think I will do this first and then the other details and so on. We have not much to do to finish this and. and so. so, I hope you liked and see you in the next part.